Hello, all CGMI. So I'm glad to be on your way. Archbishop Benson Idahosa once said, Margaret, if I am allowed to name this world or to give this world another name, I will call it a challenging world, troubled world, problematic world. But not to worry, these are challenging times for us people. But we are going to focus our attention on him that has called us. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for this is the confidence, the assurance, the boldness that we have of him. Confidence of what? That he is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He has not changed, and he will not change. He will not, because of our circumstances, change. Or because of your circumstance, change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What confidence? The confidence that we are more than conquerors. What confidence? The confidence that greater is he who is on the inside of us than he that is outside there. What boldness do we have in him that nothing can separate us from the love of God? Nothing. Is it death? Mm -mm. Is it suffering? Is it sickness? Is it disease? Nothing can separate us from the love of God. God remains God. God remains faithful. Hallelujah. For we grieve not as unbelievers. We don't grieve as if we don't have hope. The Bible says, if we have hope in this world, we are of all men most miserable. We have hope in him. We have hope in him. The Bible says to be absent in the body who is to be present with the Lord. For the Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, let me read it from the Amplified Version. It said, no, for no temptation, no trial, Regarding as enticing to sin. No trial, no temptation that will force us to curse God or to talk here and there, to talk and, and accuse God. Nothing enticing to sin. No matter how it comes or where it leads that has overtaken us or you and me or that has laid hold on you and me that is not common to man. Mm. No temptation, no trial has come to you that is beyond human resistance and that is not adjusted and adapted and belonging to human experience. Every trial, every temptation is adapted, is also adjusted to human as we are on this planet Earth. It says here, but God is faithful. That's one thing I love about God. He said, but God is faithful. Trials will come. Temptation will come. It will make us cry. It will make us grieve. It will make us to, 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 to call back into our share. But God is faithful. God is a faithful God. He said, but God is faithful to his word, to his compassionate nature. Ooh, this is good. To his compassionate nature. Our God is a compassionate God. 
is a compassionate God. And he can be trusted. You say God is faithful because he's a compassionate God. He can be trusted. And to let you be tempted and tried and assayed beyond your ability and strength of resistance. Mm. of strength and resistance and power to endure. But with that same temptation, but with that same temptation, he will and always also provide you with a way of escape that will take you to a landing place that will take you safely to a landing place. I, I, I like this, uh, this version. I, I, lo I love this version because it uh, expatiated the, 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 the verse. So, CGMI, there is no test, no temptation that has come that is not common. It is not from the blues. It is common. But our God is a faithful father. He is faithful that he will not allow that which we cannot bear to come upon us. Hallelujah. So brace up. Let's focus our attention on him that has called us. Let's focus our attention on him that died at the cross. At the cross. The finished work, work at Calvary is our strength, is our boast, is all that we need because our God is a faithful Father. So clean your eyes, focus on Him because He is able to take us to another level. Another level of faith, another level of belief, Another level of holding on to him tenaciously. I want to encourage you and encourage myself. The Bible says, and David encouraged himself. I'm encouraging you just as I'm encouraging myself. Because our God is a faithful father. He's a faithful God. So brace up CGMIs. Let's look on to Jesus who is able to do all things according to his plan in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let me just pray for you. My God and my Father, I thank you for every member of CGMI and those that are out there watching us. Loving God, our attention is focused on you. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The God that is able to do exceeding our mind. We look up unto you, everlasting Father. We decree and declare that your name alone will be glorified in all that we are passing through. Because Jesus is Lord. We believe on the finished work at Calvary. We believe on the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. We believe on the resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word declares, lasting Father, to be absent here, this troublesome world, to be absent from this uh, Wahala world, is to be present at the presence of our everlasting Father. We thank you that we have hope. We are not of those, oh God, that have no hope. We have hope in you. And we thank you that in this hope, oh God, we stand on nothing less but the blood of Jesus Christ, which was shed for us at the cross of Calvary. Comfort each and every one, O oh God. 
in the name of Jesus. And let us stand and focus our attention on him who is able to do exceeding our mind. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration for doing more than what we have asked for. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. 